Hola nuevos amigos, ¿cómo están hoy? ¿Están muy bien? Me alegro. Yo soy Señorita García. In this lesson of nuevos amigos, Juanita and Alex will keep looking for Diego. Do you think Diego could be in the park? The verb for today will be brincar. Brincar means to jump. I'm going to use brincar in a sentence for you. Voy a brincar la cuerda 30 veces. Say it with me, nuevos amigos. Brincar. Brincar. Let's practice our verb for the day and sing our theme song using the verb brincar. Buenos días, Alex. Buenos días. Hey, that's a cool shirt you have on. Muchas gracias, Juanita. ¿Qué vas a jugar? What are you going to play? Voy a jugar el fútbol. Fútbol? You are going to play fútbol? Sí, soccer in Spanish is fútbol. I love to play soccer. I love to play soccer too. Go! <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué vas a jugar hoy? El baloncesto is basketball. Repeat after me. El baloncesto. El tenis is tennis. Repeat after me. El tenis. El voleibol is volleyball. Repeat after me. El voleibol. El fútbol is soccer. El fútbol. Repeat after me. El fútbol. El baseball is baseball. El baseball. Repeat after me. El baseball. El fútbol americano is American football. Repeat after me. El fútbol americano. You did a wonderful job. Hey, do you want to go to the park and look for Diego? Sure, let's go. I love going to the park. It's a lot of fun out here, isn't it? You're right, Alex. Hey, do you hear that? It's the Alphabeto song. Do you know the alfabeto song? No, I don't. El alfabeto, or the alphabet song, was one of Diego's favorite songs. I still remember singing it with him. Beto, Beto, dime alfabeto. A. B. C. C. D. E. F. G. H. I, J, K, L, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Y, Z. Hmm, those were the days. I really do miss Diego. We have to find him. He has to be here somewhere. We'll find him. Don't worry. But while we're here at the park, let's play. Mm, okay, let's go. Vámonos.
¿Qué te gusta jugar en el parque? La resbaladera. La resbaladera. Los columpios. Los columpios. El sube y baja. El sube y baja. El carrusel. El carrusel. La alberca. La alberca. El trepamonos. El trepamonos. La cuerda. La cuerda. Hey, I'm talking to Zach, and he's telling me he's in Bolivia. Isn't that wonderful? Señorita García. Yes, yeah, Zach. Can you tell me something interesting about the country of Bolivia? Claro que sí. Before I tell you where Bolivia is located, I'm going to first give you this example. Imagine you have parked your bicycle, and you have bicycles all around you. You have no way of getting out because you're surrounded. Well, this is exactly how we can describe Bolivia's position within the South American continent. It is landlocked. Bolivia is surrounded by countries and does not have a direct access to the sea. Let's ask Dora for more information. Señorita Garcia. Hola, Dora. I'm going to type in Bolivia. Can you search your computer for some more interesting facts for Zach? Sure. B O L I B I A. Bolivia. There you go, Zach and Señorita Garcia. Wow, Zach. Can you guess who Bolivia is named after? Did you say Simón Bolívar? If you did, that is correct. Correcto, amigo. Bolivia chose its name in honor of Simón Bolívar, the great libertador of South America. Bolivia is a little smaller than the state of Alaska. Bolivia is one of the few countries in the world with two capitals. The government meets in La Paz and the Supreme Court meets in Sucre. If you look carefully at the Bolivian coin, you will read Simón Bolívar's motto, La Unión es la Fuerza. We are familiar with this proverb, which means in unity there's strength. Let's say it again. La unión es la fuerza. Muy bien. The Bolivian flag has three horizontal stripes of equal dimensions. The top stripe is red and represents the animal kingdom. The second stripe is yellow and represents Bolivia's rich mineral resources with its coat of arms. The green stripe stands for vegetation. Let's take a close look at the flag's emblem. Do you see the Andean condor? It's Bolivia's national bird. More than half of the people of Bolivia are related to the Quechua and Aymara. These native Bolivians lived in the area before the arrival of Europeans. Sometimes these people are called Amerindians and campesinos, meaning people who work the land. 30% of Bolivia's population are mestizos. A mestizo is a mixture of Indian and European races. They are also people of Spanish, German, Italian, Yugoslavian, and Lebanese descent living in Bolivia. There is an African population of about 1% that lives in the Yungas. These black Bolivians are descendants of slaves who escaped from mining camps. In the cities, 
people dress like we do. But on the farms and in other parts of Bolivia, people wear their traditional clothes, especially for fiestas or celebrations. Special brightly colored patterns and styles are used with bowler hats. When it is cold, they wear several skirts on top of one another to keep warm. They put bright shawls around their shoulders. They wear braids and bowler hats. Who needs a baby stroller when you can carry your baby on your back? Mira al bebé. Look at the baby. Es tiempo para mirar el mapa de Sudamérica. Vamos a buscar a Bolivia en el mapa. Aquí está Bolivia. Sí, sí, sí. Yes, yes, yes. It's time to look at the map of South America. Now we're ready to color, cut, and glue Bolivia onto the map. Vamos a colorear, cortar, y pegar a Bolivia al mapa. Let's find Bolivia on the map. Here's Bolivia, and it's surrounded by countries on all sides. And remember that word? Yes, it's landlocked. And as you can see, Peru and Chile border Bolivia on the west. Argentina lies to the south. Paraguay touches Bolivia in the southeast. Brazil is on the east and north. The Andes Mountains in western Bolivia cover half the land. Most people live in the mountains and cities of western Bolivia. Eastern Bolivia is lower and flatter. It has warmer weather. Gracias, Dora. Adios. Adios, Senorita Garcia and Zach. Adios. That sure was a lot of interesting information, wasn't it, Zach? Sure was. My mom said we are going to be visiting Peru. I'm really excited because I'm learning so much about most of the countries in South America. Adios, Senorita Garcia. Adios, Zach. Remember, when you take care of your world, you take care of yourself. was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Juanita? It sure was, Alex. I really love to play all different types of sports. So do I. Do you have any other hobbies, Juanita? I love to do all sorts of things. Me gusta bailar. Bailar. To dance. Me gusta leer. Leer. To read. Me gusta cantar, cantar, to sing. Me gusta comer, comer, to eat. Me gusta estudiar, estudiar, to study. Y me gusta correr, correr, to run. I have lots of hobbies. Te gusta trabajar? Do I like to work? I'd rather play soccer. <laughs> let's go look for Diego some more. Okay, let's go. Nuevos amigos, we've learned a lot of words today. We learned the different sports like el baloncesto, el tenis, el voleibol, el football. El baseball. El football americano. We also learned the verbs in the infinitive form like bailar, leer, cantar, comer, estudiar, trabajar, correr, and the phrase me gusta. Juanita remembered to sing the song of El Alfabeto with Diego. Try it next time you're out on the playground. 
Be sure to write all your new words in your Spanish journal. The first one is bailar. Bailar. Leer. Leer. Cantar. Cantar. Comer. Comer. Estudiar. Estudiar. Correr. Correr. Trabajar. Trabajar. El baloncesto. El baloncesto. El tenis. El tenis. El voleibol. El voleibol. El fútbol. El fútbol. El béisbol. El béisbol. El fútbol americano. El fútbol americano. Muy bien, nuevos amigos. Acuérdense, cuando aprendemos más de un idioma, podemos hacer nuevos amigos. Adiós.